Mike, Penn State's got Iowa this week. Finally a big game. This is prime time. The exhibition season is over. Yeah, it seems that way. That's knowledge time uh, said. Yeah. Uh, 8 o'clock start. This is a whiteout game. And I don't got a good feeling for the, about this as a, as a Penn State fan. They haven't been tested. It just seems like they... Um, I was I was healthy. I was playing pretty well. Look at in this morning's newspaper, Lancaster Intel New Era newspaper. Sean Lee knee injury, which is news to me. I thought it was an ankle. You'll find out more this afternoon with a press conference. But yeah, there were reports. There were reports yesterday that Lee is probably not going to play, and that's that would be a big wow. blow. And and they have they have a couple of key guys who got at least nicked up in in the Temple game on Saturday. Uh, Darrell Clark got a little stinger type thing in his shoulder. Graham Zug from Manheim Central, who has been their leading receiver, uh, took a helmet-to-helmet hit and had a little head thing. I think he's okay. I spoke to his father uh, the other day, and he, I think he's going to be okay. Uh, Navarro Bowman hasn't played since the opener with a, with a groin uh, injury. Um, and so, so they've got a lot of little issues like that. And it, I mean, if, if all four of those guys can't play that I just mentioned... That, that's an issue. That's definitely a problem. I think Bowman's going to play. I think they I think sat him too. out against Temple because you don't need yeah. him for Temple. This was a, a chance to heal him for the big game. I think Clark will play. I think Zug's okay because what I read in your article with, with his yeah, dad. Yeah, I think Lee's probably Lee's the one I'm a little yeah, nervous about, and, and that would be that would be a problem. However, if you if you kind of move Lee out yeah. and move Bowman in, that's not you know. They, I mean, they've played without Bowman for a couple weeks now, so I, I'm not sure that's a huge deal. I just wonder if. Based on what I've seen in these three games, I wonder how Penn State matches up, especially offensively, with a big physical team that's going to come at you and be aggressive and smack you around a little bit. And I, I, I don't know if they're up to that. A couple things. I was undefeated, 3-0, beat a pretty good Arizona team at Iowa on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And, and is it true, Iowa, Penn State's not beating Iowa, only beat Iowa once this decade? Or yeah. What's, what's the yeah, stat? The, uh, it, um, Iowa is 6-1 and one in their last seven meetings with wow. Penn State. It's incredible. And, and uh, uh, it, you know... Some of the games, some of the games in that group are kind of forgettable. But then you have the famous game where Joe chased the refs off the field, That's right? That's which right. and and let's not go back to that in too much detail. But the truth is, the worst call in that game went in Penn State's favor. So I do I don't want to hear that Penn State got a raw deal in that game. And the other one is the famous six to four game, which was oh. which was so bad that it was almost it was almost. Uh, writing it was like writing for the National Lampoon or something. It was it was satirical. It was so ridiculous. So um, they have some history with Kirk Ferentz and they have some history with Iowa and big physical kind of straightforward team. It's funny that Penn State uh, has had so much trouble with Iowa, but uh, you know it certainly could continue on Saturday. Anybody we should be watching for Iowa? They have a local guy on the team, right out of Mannheim, Jeremiah Hunter, who is a very good linebacker. Uh, last year had twelve tackles against Penn State, mm. uh, team high. And uh, he, he's a you know he's he's a big time athlete. They do not have. They lost Sean Green, who was an excellent running yeah, back, all was. Big Ten guy last year, who really kind of was the fulcrum of their offense. And they have not really replaced him. One of their offensive linemen has had some kind of kind of a mysterious malady, may or may not be available. Uh, so they're a little they're a little beat up too. And I don't think they have the offensive weapons that Penn State does. The question is: Is Penn State good enough up front to fire all those weapons? Now, Rupi, he says the Penn State's going to slap the Hawkeyes. He's taking Penn State. If you had to make a pick right now, I know your final pick comes out on your blog on Friday, but if you had to make a pick right now, which way are you lean in? Well, I'm glad you made clear that this is not my final pick. I, right. I'm, leaning, I'm leaning slightly toward Penn State, but I, I, it's very shaky. I'm not sure. Check out the blog on Friday.